The problem right now that medical researchers have and also the, uh, the folks who have the clinical data in, in a hospital setting, like at UNC hospitals, the problem that they have is that these two groups want to work together and the, the, the folks with the data want to get the data to the medical researchers, but the data is all private health information data, so it's sort of, you know, kind of a thing you've got to be careful how you're handling. There's a lot of legal entanglements, regulatory entanglements, um, you know, all sorts of issues just with wanting to keep that data private and, and under control. So the problem is how do you get that data to the researchers so the researchers can do their work without having or with, while minimizing the risk that that data can somehow either accidentally get out or some other way escape from the containment that it needs to be in to satisfy what, what the folks who have the data need. Renzi's role in the project is to provide the technical leadership and implementation of, of this system that we're doing. So we consult with the other partners, we get requirements, and we work with the other partners in their, uh, in their environments and with their folks, and we do implementation of the, the pieces and the production of the prototypes and help to move the system into production. The environment we're creating is, is for a researcher to do their, their basic research. This, this, this environment is a virtualized environment, uh, which means it uses uh, computing systems that don't really exist in a, in a hard, hardware form. They actually exist in a software form on a server. These, these virtual workspaces contain all the tools that a researcher would use to, to analyze the data that's been provided to them for their research project. The, the idea is to isolate their environment um, so, so this data, that's this healthcare information is protected and doesn't leak out of their environment. We're, we're actually employing a, a number of techniques here to, to keep the data safe. One is creating a virtualized environment that the research will use to, to work on this data and, and aggregate the data for their research project. Another thing we're doing to make sure that the, the data does not exit this environment is we're employing what are called data leakage protection software packages that, that block any vectors where this data may, might leak out of the environment. Data leakage prevention is, as the name suggests, it prevents data from leaking out the environment you control. But this is not a totally shut down. It's like uh, you install a filter to prevent the leakage, right? But then you can see like what kind of things you want to leak out and what kind of things you want to hold it in. So that's basically what the data DLP or data leakage prevention protection technology is for. So they basically they will inspect the content that is going up and then see if it contains some data which are not a lot of sensitive. So once they find a positive signal, then they will raise a flag and then we will implement the appropriate actions.